Welcome everybody to Destiny Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom thumbnail. Um, so, first off, um, you will need YouTube Partnership. I will make a another video of how to get it. But first, you want to have a imaging, like an image software. So, I have GIMP. 2.8.2 in Photoshop. I think Photoshop is a little advanced because I don't. I'm kind of new to Photoshop and I'm. I'm not like all advanced. I'm not. I, I think that's a little too advanced for me. So I chose GIMP 2.8.2. So if you guys are unfamiliar with GIMP um 2.8.2, um right here I was searching for a YouTube logo because I was um, making a thumbnail. So this is actually I'm gonna show you my original thumbnail right here that I made, and I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail like this. It's like a thumbnail for my video. So, um, to see in the, you want to go to GIMP.org down slash downloads, and you want to click download GIMP point eight point two, and then once and I'll start in about five seconds. So after you're done installing and downloading it, you want to open up GIMP point um GIMP point two point eight. So um, after it's done loading up, it will you will have a screen like this. Now, what you want to do is you want to go into File, New, and you want to do it 1,280 um, 1, to 720. Click OK, and it'll be like, look nice and cool. So now what you want to do, you want to go, a really good tool to making thumbnails is the um, Blend Tool. So let's go to the Blend Tool, you want to go and click that. You want to make your blend. So let's make this kind of like a nice bluish thing. Click OK. And let's go to our second. Um, let's make this kind of like light or lighter, kind of really lightish. It was kind of like a um, turquoise kind of thing. So let's click OK. So now let's do it like this and I'll blend. Now that looks like beautiful. Oh yeah. Kind of like a middle. I can do it like that. I'll be like that. But I mean like, like this, kind of like that that now you're gonna keep on doing this until you find the one that you like that. okay I think that looks perfect so now now you wanna go ahead and some text you can click the text box and you wanna come down here and you wanna come and make your text box like about full size of the image so now what you wanna do you want to type in it so you wanna click click in here and you wanna type in stuff so you see it'll be like sans and it'll be that font. Now you can change the font. So I personally like elephant and I like the size uh, a good I think a good thumbnail size would be like 225. So now you can also in the um oh oopsies you want to open up the um also I forgot the tool options. I mean the um tool um options. So wait actually one Alright guys, we are back. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but as I was saying before, I personally like the elephant font. So, I think it looks like all bold and looks nice. So, um, yeah, a good size for the um, YouTube, um, for the text, I think it's 125. So, also you want to also change the text color so it doesn't, so you can see it. So, let's click OK. Hi. All right, so now uh, let's make a let's type in if you want to let's just for example how to make a YouTube thumbnail. How to make a YouTube thumbnail? But I'm not just gonna type in YouTube. I'm gonna do something better, better, yes, better. Um, so I'm going to make put in a YouTube image so it'll kind of look like it'll kind of look kind of pretty cool. So that's what I think kind of look pretty cool. So um, this is the next tutorial. I mean, next part of the tutorial of how to like put in the images uh, images that you want. So you want to go open your web browser and then you want to go into Google.com and go into Google.com. Go to Google.com and you want to wait for it to load up and you want to go click images. And then you want to go type in what you want. So I'm looking for a YouTube logo. Go to YouTube logo. And you want to find YouTube. I'm going to find a YouTube logo. I think this looks nice. And you, you want to click that. You want to copy image. Just copy image. No, actually. No, actually, I don't like that. Never mind. I'm um, actually going to think something. 
better. Hmm. Actually, never mind. I like this. So when you copy your image and you want to go paste this, oh, you want to go paste it onto your um. You want to select the spot you want to paste it. You want to paste and go to right click, go to edit, and you want to go paste. As you see, this is extremely big. So the next part is when you go to scale tool, you can make this lower or bigger, whatever. Lower, bigger, smaller, higher, whatever. Scale, still too big, so suit again. I think right there is good. So mm, I think it's still too big. So let's make that a little bit more smaller. I think that's okay. So now you want to go to move tool and you can move it, move your, um, you can move your images and stuff like, you can move your whole entire background and stuff. See this? YouTube. So now you want to make a background, like the background of this. Um, it depends, like, uh, this is, I'm not going to put in the background because it'll kind of look a little weird. So I'll show you what I mean. If I do like this, it kind of looks a little weird. So, but for other images, it's good to have a background. This, I'm just going to leave it white. But I think it might look a little bit weird. You see, it can look a little weird. But, um, so let's actually make this white. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it looks a little weird, but like this, I think it looks better. But for other images, this should look good, nice for you to make you to make a background that like blends in. So, so now, um, once you're done with all the images and all the text, you are actually done making your thumbnail. So it's kind of like this: you want to click File, and you want to click Export, File Export, and you want to I would say export it to your desktop, de desktop, and you want to type in like how to make a thumbnail and to make a thumbnail and put in the two sign click export you want to export it you want to make it a png file so about png so then you, once you're done you want to click that and you want to exit up close without saving blah 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 close this up and we'll close that up and here's the second one also i forgot to tell you youtube will only accept thumbnails that are below 200 kegabytes so um i uh, know no, no, no. wait a second what am i talking about um let's actually go check i think it's two megabytes two megabytes but um let's just go check so it's also to tell you example how to upload your um stuff so let's go into the um video manager and let's go into you see like here let's click go into cook here click edit let's go into edit you see that was my thumbnail so um wait wait let's go let's click this one this doesn't have like a thumbnail custom thumbnail on it oh one minute guys my phone ring. my phone is ringing. okay sorry guys i've been mistaken it's two megabytes um so yeah it says it's suggested sorry guys if you heard a uh, sound in the background like someone talking it was my dad but anyway um, see here, yeah, I'm mistaken, it's two megabytes, so, yeah. So now you want to click, uh, if you want to upload, click custom thumbnail, and, um, sorry, I kept on pausing it, technical difficulties. Anyway, um, yeah, it's two megabytes, so, yeah, this, um, yeah, that's kind of it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please leave a, please leave a like if this helped you. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching, and hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.